Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Call of Warhammer, also known as Rage of the Dark Gods. This is version 1.6 of uh, beta of the modification for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. So, we're jumping back into our campaign as the Chaos Dwarves, and if I remember correctly, we were given a mission by the... Uh, college of, not college, are uh, the council, and they wanted us to, no, we had a crash, okay, so they wanted us to um, take over a place called Karak Vlag, which is held by demons, and we've attempted to take this place before. It's not really possible for us at the moment. So, we're going to ignore that quest for the moment and focus more on fighting the Tomb Kings who we are now having conflict with. The biggest problem that we have fighting the Tomb Kings is they can spam out troops really fast and we've only got a finite amount of troops. So, we need to really pick our battles because they're going to overwhelm us if we just engage them everywhere all the time. See, as you can see, they got almost a full stack. Then they've got those. Here, yeah, they got over a full stack of men. A large stone wall for us to get over. And we only have these spare units left over who are all kind of dying. All right. This Hobgoblin Archer unit, I would retrain if I could. Let's see if I can. Um, no, I can't do that at this moment. Yeah, so these guys are going to be useless to me, so I'll disband them. Can we get some more Chaos Dwarf Warriors? No, we cannot. So let's disband them, even though they're silver. Unfortunate. How about the Arab boys? That's another one. See ya. We're retraining the sneaky gits. Um, Cows blunderbusses. Four more turns. Okay. So we're okay for that right now. Uh, these guys cannot be retrained either, the Hobgoblin Wolf Riders. So let's get rid of them so they don't cost us any money. Hmm. Things seem to be going okay down here. Now that we've done that. We are still going negative, it says. So we can't recruit anyone over here. We've got a heavy armor up going up in one turn, that'll give our units access to heavy mail so that we won't die so easily. This is the castle that the council wants us to take over. It has 15 units of demons in it and so it's very difficult to take out. We've got our dwarven merchants here trading away and they're currently making me 1,652 gold crowns, which is amazing. We're not at war with the Skaven at the moment. We're allies with the Orcs. We're at war with the Dwarves. We're not at war with the Night Goblins, which is good. And right now, we're just going to end our turn and hope that the Tomb Kings don't spam out even more troops. That's really the biggest problem at the moment, is my troop replenishment rate is very low. You need to get those barracks out a lot quicker. Alright, what are the Unite Goblins doing? Moving troops around. And merging units together to make bigger armies, yeah. Okay. Not really sure how I got an alliance with the orcs and the goblins, but I'll take it.
It's better that they don't fight me <laughs> than I than how to fight them, as well as everybody else down there. What are you dwarves gonna do, I wonder? Oh, Tomb Kings are on the move, and they spawned even more troops, damn it. Skaven are just maneuvering around within their tiny little lair. <laughs> I actually quite like the Skaven. They're a good faction. Their troops are awesome. Alright, so we've lost money, but we still have over $4,000 to play with this turn. Trait decrease. Ola Khan. Ooh, he doesn't feel happy. Okay, so we've got the armory going. We've retrained a bunch of men at Gorgos Tower. We're retraining a death rocket. We need to wait for more blunderbusses. Hmm. Let's put that in the works for later. Let's recruit some more hobgoblins. Let's go north to our capital see what we can do. Oh, full plate. That would be amazing. Ancient Hall of Warriors. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Dogs of War Camp. Chaos Undivided Temple. Ooh. I might need that. How many turns do I have before I have to take it? 15? Okay, so... Let's go and get some more men. Ooh, I would love to get these black orcs, but they cost so much. All my troops cost so much. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. What is the difference here in stats? Okay, it's very apparent to me that uh, these Chaos Dwarf Warriors are definitely the better investment. Spam out a couple of them, and then try and come and liberate this place. What are they bringing? Oh, they got giant scarabs. Those guys, they're an interesting unit because they function as spearmen. Let's uh, chuck a save in there because of crashes, and let's keep moving. We're getting a decent amount of trade from Gorgoth's Tower. It's because of those highways that we built there to get us to move quickly across our lands. I haven't seen the Beastmen yet. Those will be a terrifying foe to fight. Come on, dwarves, what are you up to? And the Tomb Kings are bringing even more men my way. This is not good. Yep, they're coming to bring the fight to me this time. Skaven are trying to move into Dwarven lands yet again. That seems really stupid. And now they're moving into Orc lands as well. They're going to get hammered back. Oh, this is so good. Alright, how many units are they bringing over? They're bringing over 12. Ooh, we're making a bit more. We're losing less, but not making more. Okay, so we got some more warriors. 
Sterling is fighting the vampire count. Mm. They have a lot of warriors coming. Alright, we need to preemptively attack this guy out in the field because our artillery won't do so well in the settlement. My axe for me. Two to one advantage. They have two giant scarabs and no commander. Their force is weak. We can take this out easily. Time for some adventure. We just need to smash their armies before they can get together and be strong. Keep using my artillery to the best effect that I can. Alright, let's deploy. Let's get our artillery together. Right in the front row. Set them all to fire at will. Let's get my blunderbusses prepared. My alabasts will also be prepped to fire. Now, my Dwarven General is going to sit with the artillery and protect them. Olag Khan and his Wolf Rider boys will come wide out on the right flank. And we will have the other infantry units that we have here ready to rush forward in defense of the artillery should they need it. To battle. Yeah, they're going to need it. Okay, we're going to run the goblins all forward. Buses out on the flank. Our wolf boys will be coming forward. We're doing a massive amount of damage to their men already, which is great news. 9% are already dead, 0% for me. Our alabasts are firing off as well. I wonder what will happen once our uh, blunderbusses start firing. So our cavalry are moving wide, coming to outflank our enemy. Blunderbusses don't appear to be in range of any of my enemies. move them up a bit more and allow them to get some shots off. Our artillery is wrecking them which is great. 13% is already down. Yes. <laughs> Smoke. Burn. Oh yeah baby. Take that. <laughs> they're trying to get up and they're getting hammered with more. Our blunderbusses are opening up. Is that a misfire? You need to move forward and block their advance. Our artillery needs to hold fire, as does our 
blunderbuss units and the alabasts. Okay, blunder buses pull back out of that engagement. Oh man, the giant scarabs wrecked me. Forward, general. Man, that was not good. Let's pull these blunderbuss units back this way. Let's relocate these alabast units. Awesome, we got their general. Good job. This guy is doing nothing at the moment. Let's bring him around and attack these guys. You can turn around and charge him also. Um, let's pull you this way to support our men if they need it. Let's get our blunderbuss units to fire upon these giant scarabs. <laughs> You're getting destroyed now, punk. Alright, these sneaky gits are okay to help out the general. Let's pull these wolf riders out of combat with those giant scarabs because they're spearmen. things going here. Not great. Alright, you guys come over this way. Get the sneaky gets to push this way. Yeah, tell our blunderbuss brethren to stop. Let's get these wolf riders stuck into these guys as well. Our hobgoblins are having a hell of a time trying to defend. These tanking skeleton warriors are holding out fairly well, but they're getting charged from all sides now. And they're finished. We have won the day. Uh, we didn't lose anyone in the general's bodyguard there. That's awesome. Nothing left. Good job, guys. 
only 35% of you fell in battle. So we lost 207. Who was the most killer? Like the biggest killer? The Wolf Boys, it appears, were the biggest killers. Good job, Wolf Boys. Our artillery did pretty good. So did the rest of our men. Another victory for Olaf Khan. Good job. Let's pull back to Gorgos Tower before they bring an even bigger army. Let's retrain those guys, those guys, as many as we can. Because that was just the beginning. They're bringing even more our way now. Uh, Alrighty. Ooh, Hell Cannon of Chaos. That might be worth it. Get another unit of dwarfs. Um, what else do we want to get? Let's get some orc boys. Missile attack. Let's get some more alabasts. And then next round, next turn, we'll uh, march on Karak Vlag and see if we can take them out. Oh man. I think I picked the fight too early with the Tomb Kings, but they were coming after me anyways. Our defenses must hold. Oh man, we're going to start running out of money really quick. We're going to get really short on money really fast here. Ugh. And I was right, the orcs are pushing back the Skaven. How did they think they could go into orc lands with such a small force and accomplish anything? Ridiculous, really. However, the Skaven that are attacking the Dwarven Fortress might accomplish something. Might. And the Tomb Kings are gathering even more forces. This is just great. And they're bringing more armies my way now. Oh, what is this? The Skaven are trying to move through Tomb King lands. Interesting. End of turn report. Okay. Queues are stalled. What? Ah, we got the large dwarf manufactory. Good, good. 
we've recruited many more warriors and replenished some. Good. Ooh, cultists of Sinesh and children of Nurgle are fighting. In she, infidel, or face the might of Islam. Hmm. This isn't going to go so well. <laughs> we have to hold up in our castle though because we will have the advantage then even though we have artillery. Hmm. Somehow we're going to go positive. <laughs> okay, let's bring out Overlord Rykarth. The Earthshaker As Cannon, Dwarf Warriors. Is our a thousand slaves for our toil. I'll keep appealed. Let's send the My Dwarven Alabast out to we'll join our Overlord. Right the Orc Boys will As go next. The hobgoblins will follow, for our right here. and the arrow boys and goblin archers. And we'll leave our other dwarven general back to administer stuff, and then we'll march and attack hey, the demon castle with our 14 units. Awesome. So we're preparing for a siege here against us, and then we're preparing to wage a siege over up north. This should get rather interesting rather quick. Loads of battles for you guys. Oh, look at that. The orcs are taking on the night goblins and pushing them back into their fortresses. Will they siege it and try and take it from them? I wonder how the battle for chaos's like ultimate power is going up in the north. Okay, nearly back to my turn now. Ooh, the Tomb Kings, they are coming for me. Here we go. They're laying siege to Gorgoth's Tower. My axe will draw blood this day. Oh, the Skaven are going back towards Dwarf Lands. <laughs> They're trapped in here, they can't really get out. They've got enemies all around. Alright, yep, Gorgos Tower is under siege. We've barely got any money left. We'll manage to retrain those units just in time. But we still have other guys that need more retraining, like those hobgoblins. Okay, let's uh, attack Karak Blood. My axe speaks for me. You call that a building? Ah! Ooh, it says they have the advantage over us. Because they have Nurglings, Plague Bearers, Screamers of Zinch, Horrors of Zinch, Blood Letters of Corn, Blood Crushers of Corn, Mounted Demonettes, Demonettes of Slanesh, and then more Demonettes of Slanesh. And they're all silver level upgrades. This is just great. Okay then. We'll do our best. Let's throw down a save and get stuck in. Let's attempt to attack at night so that we have more command. Let's this goods now.
I love this soundtrack. Let's wait it out a bit, make it lighter for us. And start our deployment. Just as was prophesied. Okay, where is our entryway? We've made a hole in the wall right here. So this is where we're going in, people. Let's pull our mortar back here and put him over there. He can open up on anyone blocking our way right away. Our archer units will all form up in front, ready to fire. The orc boys and hobgoblins will go in first. Followed by the Chaos Dwarf Warriors. And finally, Overlord Rykarth will enter the fray. Alright, battle. Everyone, open fire on the horrors of siege. Those guys will be a problem. Whoa, did I just smash the wall? Yep, I did. Alright, hobgoblins and orcs push forward. Archers open up on the demon nets of Slanash. <laughs> Man, this mortar, this Earth Shaker cannon is just going off. These guys are on the run. They know that things are not good. Hold your fire. Archers push into the city. One at a time, I guess. Alright guys, get inside. Let's bring the Earth Shaker cannon in. Everybody else come in as well. We've gained our foothold. Send these hobgoblins forward to engage first, since they're my weakest. They can take the beating from the horrors of Zinch, which will fry them probably. And I don't particularly want that to happen to my men, so let's stop that. Turn all these archers firing will off, as well as the Earth Shaker cannon. Oh, will you get a shot off before I hit you? Nope. Whoa, 
well, we've got a good chance of winning now. Then. And our orcs are just going to continue marching. <laughs> While uh, the rest of us come inside all these slow ass dwarves. Everybody charge in my orc and goblin group. Cut them up. Do not allow them to shoot at you. Things are going well. They, the computer thinks we're going to lose because they have more men than us, technically, and kind of better men, but I've got a strategy. I'll wear them down. Don't you worry. Where are you guys going? What the hell? You guys are going like the long way. What the hell? Crazy pathfinding. Alright, so they've got Nurglings here waiting to engage, as well as some demonites of slow Nash. Oh, hello. Charge, boys. Give them a good old war. Down to 12, we're doing pretty good. Oh, oh down to 9. They're falling very quickly. Man, disgusting looking. And they're finished. Everybody charge those demonets of slash. Alright, how are things going back here? Seems as if everybody's moving in quite nicely. Let's uh, move our various archer groups this way. Our infantry will move up. Our mortar will take up residence. Over here ish. These orcs and hobgoblins that I've got on the front lines right now are basically just cannon for use to wear down their weaker troops, hold them in place while I come around with the real stuff, like my dwarven warriors. So what I plan to do is bring all my infantry up to this main part, hit them from the front, pin them down, pull my archer units down into this corridor where they can't come through, and fire over the buildings into the thick of them until they have no ammo left, and bring them back around and charge into the center. My Earth Shaker Cannon, the Mortar, I'm hoping to volley shot from over there into the center of their group as well, and we'll go from there.
how things doing. So I'm nearly breaking through. Yeah, we're doing okay. Let's give him another charge order. Despite being um, light infantry, Demonites of Slanesh are actually decent infantry. They do have the ability to hold their own even against heavy infantry for quite a long time. Sometimes even beat them like they're doing to my orc boys right now. Arrows, everyone come this way. Stupid arrow boys. You can see that my infantry isn't great at the moment, and then they haven't killed many of the demonites, but they have pushed us back quite a bit. Yeah, they're shredding my group of orcs and goblins. What is this? I have no idea. Our advance is unstoppable. Well, once these guys get defeated, we will uh, rush forward with the real infantry, the dwarves. and sweep them away. Let's go back to normal speed real quick. Let's get our archer groups moving this way again. Hell Cannon, what can you do for me? Can you hit this big swarm of men right in the middle. Let's try this out. I can volley shot from here right into the center of the town square. They're screwed. Damn it. Let's pull it back a bit. Building captured the gateway here. So we've captured the gates over here. Our men are still moving. Just good news. They'll flank around, come in here, and open up on them. They're really grouped up. Way too much for a force that knows I have a mortar cannon with me. How many demonets are left? Just one. Just the one. Man, and these guys are already exhausted. Killer already. Come on, boys. You got this. And that's that. She is done. I want you to hit the Blood Crushers of Corn. Uh, I don't have the trajectory, damn. Let's let them try and fire. 
Okay, so the mounted demonettes are going to be our next foe. Let's push the boys up. Bring the Dwarven Warriors in behind. And move all these archer units up this way. Charge, boys, charge! Take them out. These demonettes are holding me back like this. These ten nerdlings, look at them. So happy. So disgusting. <laughs> Should have moved up in there like that. Let's get you in there. And you can move in there. Now let's see if we can fit our alabaster units back here. Yeah, we should be able to. Give them another charge order because they're getting their asses whooped. Dwarven warriors are pushing forward as they should be doing. I don't know who the hell the hell cannon is shooting at, but keep firing, buddy. You might hit someone eventually. <laughs> March units are starting to push into the gully of protection. Side street. I know it looks like they can move through here, but there's. It says the path is obstructed, so it's a flaw in the map making easily to see. But I can definitely take advantage of that, and I'm going to. Ooh, Let's try and push the orcs through so that we can surround them. the demon acts. They can't hold us back. Not anymore. Damn screamers just like flying stingrays. Our general will hang back for a bit. No need to get him involved too early. Fire at will. As soon as you guys stop moving, open up into them and take them out. As many as you can. Oh, my God. 
Damn, mounted demon ants are a pain in my ass. Awesome. And see, I can get direct line of sight fire straight through this street as well. So, my goblins are not only shooting over, but straight through as well. My orc arrow boys are launching more missiles to the enemy's way. There's the enemy general tied to the Nerglings, I think. I see a screamer. He's just levitating. What the hell? Mr. Nice Guy, everybody charge. Push forward. Just blanketing this area with arrow fire. It's awesome. I haven't seen my Earth Shaker cannon firing in a long time. Let's um bring it over here. Okay, let's uh, directly influence where these archers are going to fire at the Nerdlings, please. Take out their general. Get my general involved. Push in. These gobos are out of uh, ammo, so they're going to come into the melee now. Fry them. Good job. We can score a lucky hit on their general, that'll be a big blow to their morale. Where's the Earth Shaker Cannon? Still coming up the hill. Really slow. Man, that'd be a hell of a hill to try and push that thing up. I would not want to be the guys manning that thing, for real. Blood crushes are vicious. Any 
and we're still blanketing this area with more alabaster fire and arrows. I don't know if it's killing too many of them, but it's definitely hurting them a lot. Not finished yet, people. All right, and these gobos are out as well. They are going to come into the melee as well as these alabasts. So basically, I can just group up everybody and tell them to fully just go head on into the Black Crushers and melee. Everyone push forward. Don't fight defensively, neither should you or you or anyone else except for my general, Spotty Guard. Oh, he's coming. Let's uh, push through. We don't want to be stuck in this little corridor. Numbers are our friend in this. <laughs> Take it. You can't stop us. Oh no! No, the Overlord! You idiot, get back! What are you doing on the front? You're literally the first guy. Where are you gobos going? And you orcs. What the hell are dwarf warriors? You weird guys. Need some room for the damn earth shaker to get through. No, 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 no. You need to fire at the nerblings. No! <laughs> Overlord, no! Oh, damn it! Kill the blood letters of porn. Shoot whoever the hell you want. Losing our faction leader like that, man. Everyone push. Kill those blood crushers of corn. I mean, blood letters of corn. Man, these mounted demonettes are still in the damn fight. Hell cannon is just ridiculous. Can I even put you back here? I wonder. Kind of. Kind of. No 
Wigglings. Come get some. I mean, if they had arches, they would destroy me. Or some kind of missiles. Damn it. Stupid! Ugh! Stupid flying stingray monsters! <laughs> We're slowly pushing them back. We're beating them. We're gonna win. Catch up. What the hell? <laughs> oh, this stupid earth shaker cannon is right here now, and it's just like, let's shoot a building. Because that'll work. And the screamers of Zincha down. Nurglings will soon follow. But there's more Nurglings, more blood letters of corn, and more plague bearers, as well as demonites of Slanesh, and there's even more of these stupid screamers of Zinch. Oh, this dude is a screamer of Zinch. I thought something was funny looking. Can we target you? Where is it going? It's charging to the blood letters before they are able to reform and fight me effectively. Dude, that blood letter just straight kicked it all right over. It's just like, screw you. What the hell was that? Are you shooting? Your slaves by your service. Your slaves by your service. Are you shooting through my lines? Just shoot wherever. Just make sure you don't get my own man cheese. Oh yeah? You think you got this, huh? Try and stop me now. Whoa, 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 so many of my men are fleeing, why? I 
can't even rally the main gun. Okay, go boys, get back in there. Get back in there, Alabasts. And you too. Anybody that comes back, you're getting right back in there straight away, dude. This cannon is stupid. Man, looks like we might not actually win this again. I'm gonna try to. Numbers are going down, just not as much as I need them to. Come on, guys, you can win this. You've defeated so much more. Damn earth shaker cannon, taking 50 million years to get anywhere, and then not shoot anything. Let's watch this duel between these two. This blood letter and this dwarven bodyguard, who is now useless because. You let his lord die. Oh, we've got three minutes to win. Crap. I remember this happening last time, too. They were able to hold us back. Who will win? Looks like the blood letters just going, yeah, I don't care anymore. But the dwarf's like, nope, come back here, die. Damn cowards, come back. I hired you because you were good. Soon our earth shaking cannon will start getting stuff done. We've got even more cowards running away. Jeez. Hopefully this earth shaking can just turns it all around. Alright guys, you're good, you can start firing, you've moved it to where it needs to be. Where are they gonna fire? Could you guys possibly shoot these Nurglings? Like, 
Don't even try and shoot through a stupid Mouse building. What the hell? Seriously? Seriously? Why? Why? That's all I have to ask you is why. Kill these blood letters, please. Yes, that's right, turn the cannon. You've got ten seconds. What are you gonna do? Not fire where I tell you, of course. Oh well, let's watch the last stand of this bodyguard unit. Because everybody else has run the hell away. Uh, so the enemy has 277 left holding this castle against us. Overlord Rykarth was slain in this battle. That's a big blow to the dwarves. The Chaos Dwarves. We have 121 troops left from this fight. But we lost 855. 57 was. 66 was made by the Alabasts in casualties. And that was the best. So overall, our men did absolute crap in this fight. <laughs> How disappointing. I thought I had it this time. It looks like it's going to take us three times to siege this place before we'll finally bring it down. Maybe even four times. Four times, I mean. Jeez, this place is a tough nut to crack. And I can't actually accept this ransom because it's too high. Damn. Sorry, brothers. Overlord Baldrick. Uh, is that you? Yes, it is. Well, we're due to make a lot of money next turn. We're getting sieged over here by the Tomb Kings, so things aren't going so great. We failed to take Karglag, and they got their horrors of Zinch back. What the hell? They got two units of Demonites of Slanesh left. Blood Letters of Corn are still hanging around. Screamers of Zinch, Plague Bearers, and the Nurglings. Well, great. Not the best way that we can play this campaign, but it's the only way I've got going for it. The only thing I've got going for me at the moment. I've only got so many options, I'm quite limited by this mountainous terrain and so few enemies around. So few to be able to fight against, so many, not many options to pick, and the orcs have pushed back even more Skaven again. Kind of expected that.
and they're going to send more forces my way because if they will, I'm going to be screwed. Oh, they've broken off the siege. They don't think they can take it. That is good news for me. That means I have more time to rebuild and come back stronger. <laughs> Big mistake, buddy. You should have chased me into my fortress and attacked. It would have been a harrowing fight for you, but you probably would have won. And the Skaven are backing off from the Dwarves, returning to their lair. Hmm, maybe they feel threatened by the Tomb Kings. And we are back. So, our entire army was destroyed while attacking Karak Vlog. We have a new member of the family. Let's check this out. So, Overlord Baldrick, he had a daughter. <laughs> Slave Master Kurak is down south. Loads of our guys have died in combat, but uh, that can't be avoided sometimes. Well, that's going to have to be the episode for today, guys. Hope you guys have really enjoyed. And next time when we come back, we'll hopefully be able to take on some more of the Tomb Kings. Rebuild, come back and get them. Uh, rebuild our army in the north. And finally take out that stupid fortress of Karaglag. But anyways, my name has been Edogs82, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.